All right, so today we are going to take apart this electro-pneumatic transducer for some uh, recovery and starting off with some low-grade gold-plated pens, some tantalum capacitors. I'll just go into a storage pile. Got a little bit of zinc mixture here. Uh, we'll see. Uh, that's about it so far. So as we dig into this, we'll, uh, we'll see what we get. All right, so we've taken the screws off and this right here, uh, this rheostat has some gold-plated pins. We've got some gold-plated pins here. There's gonna be a little silver in that. We'll see, like usually I think that had a little bit of gold in it. These are from, these are from the late 80s. And what this, this device is, is it takes an electrical signal here and converts it to, uh, this, is, this is an input, and it'll convert it to an output uh, for the pneumatic side of this. And that's why we call it the EPT, electro-pneumatic transducer. And so this through here reduces or increases the pneumatic pressure to the valves. So we'll, we're going to pop these screws off and take a look. Not really much after that. It's uh, just a piece of zinc. So, a little bit of stuff on that to recover. Some zinc, and that's about it. 